This is this amazing components library for Next.js projects. It has some really unique components with some really nice animations. Look at this one. All of these components are absolutely free to use and you can easily integrate all of these components into your project. Every single one of these components have this prompt that you can simply just copy it from here and then you can just paste it inside your code editor and then you can easily just integrate and add this component inside your project. I'll give you a detailed step-by-step -step guide that how you can add these components into your existing project or maybe if you're creating a new project, you can easily integrate and add these components into your project. So before you start, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on that like button as well. Our goal for this video is to reach 500 likes. All right, to access this components library, you can simply just go to this URL. I will leave a link in description. And from here, you can just go to this components section. So all of these different components are absolutely free to use. There are these templates. So these templates are actually paid. So you don't need to use any of these templates. You can just like use these components and then build your design using these components. So to start with, first of all, you need to create an empty Next.js project to create an empty next.js project we need to simply just copy this command and then you can simply just run this command inside your code editor we are going to use cursor cursor is an ai code editor you can simply just download cursor on your computer so simply just copy this command from here choose a directory and then run it inside your terminal after that just choose these default options whatever options will be by default selected just choose all of those options so once your next.js project is set up now next step is to install tailwind css Tailwind css is just an open source css framework to develop front-end designs so just run this command inside your project and once tailwind css is installed next step you can simply just add this code inside your global.css file so inside your cursor project inside this app directory you can find this global.css file and in here you can just simply add that code that you copied from there so now your project is configured and it's ready to add those components inside your project so you can go back to this components library and from here you can just choose any of these components and from here you can simply just copy this prompt from here i have already added one component into my project so this is my project it is currently running and you can see in here on my landing page i have just added this amazing component so let's just add another component after this component so what you can do you can simply just go to your component page and from here just simply copy this prompt from here you can easily just add by adding this code as well and then after that you'll have to install you'll have to like run this command to add this component directly into your project but uh, the easier way, if you if you just are looking for an easier way, the easier way is simply just like copy this prompt from here and then paste that prompt inside cursor and then cursor will take care of all of the things. It will import all of the all of the required libraries and all of the dependencies itself. So you can simply just come here and then paste that component library. Simply just paste that prompt that you copied from there and then paste that in here. Press enter and now uh, cursor will start creating this component inside our project. So first of all, it has created this new component file, which is 3D card dot TSX. So in, this is our components folder. Every single component that it is importing, it is importing in here inside this components folder. And in here you can see it has created this 3D card demo dot TSX component. So right now it is just creating all of the other required files. Once everything is ready, perfect, everything's ready now. Let's just open and see if it is added or not. So let's just go back to our project that we're running. And then in here, you can see this is the component that it has added. So this component as it is, is added after. So this was the first component that I added. And now this is the second component that I have added. So I just copied that prompt from there, simply just copied that prompt from here, and then added that prompt in here. And then it created this component file in here. And you can see this entire code in here. You could just copy this code from this components page. You could copy this code from here if you want to, if you want to like manually add this code inside your project in like in a certain area of your project you could easily do that otherwise you can simply just like ask cursor to add it you can by the way mention on cursor that you, you need to like add this component in a certain page maybe on a landing page maybe on a another page maybe on a dashboard page you can mention that inside while you're actually giving it the, that prompt as you can see in this first prompt that i gave it so i mentioned it that i have set up an empty next.js project i'm recreating the default home page i'm importing some ui components on my landing page i'll share the prompts of those ui components and then you can add them on the page so I already like described and mentioned that and specified that all of these components that I'm adding, you need to add that on the home page, on the landing page, which is that page.tsx, right? We can see this is the page.tsx and now it is importing. So this, it has just imported this 3D pin demo component from this components directory. And then it imported that animated testimonial demo as well. And then it, it again, it, it imported this 3D component, 3D card demo component. So now it has imported that and then it has added that into our page. So all of these components 
components are imported inside this components directory and then it these are actually imported in on this home page on this default page so you can just like create another page create another route and then ask and specify that particular route and then ask it to like add these components into that particular route so yeah this is how easy it is to add any of these amazing ui components you can completely change the look and feel of your project with these ui components if you have any further questions just leave a comment in comment section i see you next video bye, -bye.